What's going on guys? Today we are talking must-have cards right now in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Of course, it is June. We're counting the days for NCA for Madden, whichever one you want to play next. But there's definitely, of course, some good cards. I think cards that still are must-haves, even though you have these God Squads. They can be great cheats on your theme teams or whatever teams you're rocking with. Um, and, and I think these are all players or versions of these players that everyone should have on their team. Or at least you should you probably at least have one of these guys. Okay, let's just say that. Of course, before we get started, if you are part of the 67% of people who watch the videos that are not subscribed, let's change that right now. Head down there, hit the subscribe button, turn on those notifications. And so the first thing we're going to start with is very broad, and that is just a running back that gets either angry runs or freight train. Whether that's a charge up X Factor, a combine X Factor, or it's just pre-baked like on a guy like William Perry, or even Walter Payton who gets angry runs as the ability as well. I'm not sure what happened there, but um, th this is the ability right here. What you want is angry runs or freight train of some sorts that needs to be on your team right now. It's June again. If you don't have one of these, like, you, you know, Tiki Barber, he's not going to cut it. Okay. Tiki Barber's not going to cut it. Brees Hall is great. Evans, sure. Run him. Perry, Jacobs, Jamal Charles, you can run him too because he gets the charge of X factors, including just insane ability discounts. I like Jamal Charles card a lot, um, but I think just as broad as possible to get us started. It is a freight train, angry runs running back. And I don't I know I don't need to sell this ability to anyone or these abilities to anyone, but a guy with angry runs or freight train can break 15, 20 broken tackles in one game. Whereas someone without it, you're might break one. You might get two. So that difference is major um, as far as picking up first downs, that scoring touchdowns, you know, those short yardage scenarios, even breaking that big run, making one guy miss. Um, is obviously a very big deal. So yeah, number one, or I guess, I don't even know if I'm gonna number these, but angry runs or freight train running back, whether you can charge it up or it's already on or it's pre like whatever it is, um, just make sure you are getting your hands on one of those running backs. Okay, now let's get into a little less broad and we have John Randall and Micah Parsons. The main reason for this is that they do get unstoppable force. And there is actually one more guy who does get these X factor as an ability. Um, guys, and that's actually Joe Klecko. I misclicked there. Joe Klecko was one of these guys too. Um, but you do have to pay for it because he does get Colossus for two, which is obviously pretty good. Um, you can also go to Force Supreme with Avalanche Colossus. It, you make, you make some pretty good setups here, and he also does get run stuffer. So I actually might toss Klecko in there if you have room AP-wise on defense, and most likely you do because there's so many cheap builds, so many cheap AP cards in this game where I have a hard time even spending all of my AP to be completely honest with you. So maybe I like click with someone that can fill that up if you use, you know, Colossus. But John Randall, Unstoppable Force, obviously a stud because he gets the ability on the whole game and you cannot turn it off no matter what happens. Uh, we did have Michael Parsons as well. J just a great card. Just a great card. Perfect trades, 90, 99. Um, all 32 team cams, by the way, for Michael, there's, there's a reason why he's still 1.2. So no matter what team you have, he'll fit on it. Unstoppable Force. Um, with some pretty decent abilities outside of that, but Unstoppable Force has a pre baked is all you really need to know. So, um, yeah, next up we have the uh, yes, the Unstoppable Force has Colossus X Factor as ability pass rushers. And next up we have Jordan Mylotta. Although this card does move a little bit clunky, I will say that's one drawback of the card. I've been using him pretty much since he's come out, which at this point has been like two or three weeks or whatever. Um, but really good speed, good acceleration. You can, of course, toss him on like an Eagles team if you really want to boost that speed. Sure, go for it. Um, but uh, just a good user, man. Just a good user because he's six foot eight, 365 pounds. Good, good against the run, really good dive tackle. Um, and you, you, of course, also do have the abilities to back it up as well. You get Lurk Artist for better animations as a pre bait. And um, then you also get, you're also able to get Avalanche and Enforcer Supreme. For me, I think Avalanche is a very overrated ability. But if you pair it or, or, or are able to pair it with a cheap Enforcer Supreme, I think it turns that ability to something great because when you land that hit stick about, from my experience, about like 100% of the time, that ball's coming out. Without Enforcer Supreme, you can land a hit stick and that ball's not always coming out, even if you land a hit stick. Not only does Enforcer Supreme make it easier to land hit sticks, it also, for me, at least guarantees a fumble or makes it way more likely. Um, but also mid zone is good too if you don't want to go with if you want to just go avalanche mid zone and keep it cheap on the card you can but it also does get charge ups as well which is pretty nice so really good ability stacks on my lotto with the build um and he just animates crazy with lurk artist the card moves the card doesn't move crazy i would say he does have some slight issues with his movement a little bit clunky but my lotto definitely a must have for that price 130k at this point is really good and he's one of the best users right now in this game and next up we got the greatest man-to-man -man corner the greatest corner of all time Darrell Revis 98 speed 99 acceleration 5 foot 11 
um, which people might be scared of that five foot eleven, and I understand that. Um, as far as being, a, you know, tackling wise, 88 hit power, 99 pursuit has some slight issues here. Uh, man coverage, zone coverage, it's all there, of course. It's Revis. Um, but for the abilities, the abilities is, is of course again what's going to set this card apart. He gets bottleneck. Bottleneck as an ability. You don't know what bottleneck does. Pressing in this game is really bad. You get beat almost every single time if you play, play press coverage. But if you use bottleneck and you just press a guy, I mean, they're out of the play. If you send a little bit of heat, it throws off a route combination and you just get rid of a receiver out of a play. It just gives someone a different look that they're not used to. I mean, you know, every single time I call route, you know, like, for example, like a seam, I'm expecting that seam just to kind of shoot the middle. No resistance in this game at all. If you press with Revis with bottleneck, it just throws off everything in a route combination. So bottleneck's a big one. He also does get universal coverage. Yes, all zone KOs for one AP, and you can even pair that with pick artist oh, and secure tackler. If you don't, if you, if you actually, if you don't have a film study, put film study on Revis too, but secure, which makes him a, a good outside tackling corner against the angry runs, uh, running backs. Pick artist will get him some interceptions, hopefully, universal coverage for zone KOs, and then you bottleneck too. If you are playing man-to-man, -man, still universal, I would definitely try to get one step ahead in there as that will make a much better man-to-man -man coverage. But Revis, whether you play man or whether you play zone or anything, I think Revis should be on everyone's team no matter where you want to put him. If you want to play match safety, go for it. You know what I mean? Like, sure. Um, Revis, 100%. Probably might be the number one must-have guy because I think everyone should have like Revis on their defense. I think he might be the number one guy, honestly. And next up, we got Marvin Harrison Jr. And this is also another card that should be in everyone's receiving core. You could have your tall guy. Um, if you even want to go with someone who's even shorter than him, sure. But Marvin Harrison, to me, is like the perfect height where you can still sneak the ball in between zone KOs. Still gets down on possession catches. So I like his build a lot. Um, it's, again, some of the, if, if you go with a taller receiver in this year's game, they're amazing. But it's just harder to use them because zone KOs make them feel a little more clunky. They're bigger targets. The ball just comes out. You know, I feel like even when I beat like a deep zone, the bigger receivers have a problem where they'll take two or three steps and then you'll get hit and you'll be like, that should have been a catch, but it was, it, it, they don't count it because it's a KO, um, which is frustrating with taller receivers. So Marvin Harrison, I really haven't had any problems with that yet. Um, I obviously, you know, it'd be better if a guy was like five foot nine and you could kind of, you know, pick, pick, pick apart the defense that way. Um, but to me, six foot has like been kind of perfect on Marvin Harrison, but good speed, good acceleration. Ball carrier wise, he's great, but the main reason why he's here today is because he gets Yakum up as an ability on the whole game. Um, I do, yes, I do believe he's the best wide receiver in the game right now. You can go Yakum up, Energizer, Jukebox, and you can even toss on that route technician, which is huge. Um, but Yakum up as an ability is massive. You cannot turn it off. This also opens up more vanguards for your offense. Um, you know, QB X factors, more wide receiver X factors, more running, whatever you want to do more running back X factors, no matter what you're doing, Marvin Harrison's going to fit that scheme and fit the team. And you can, you can, I mean, it's just one AP, you get yak him up. If you don't know what this ability is, by the way, you break the first tackle after the catch every single time. It is that good. Marvin Harrison, yes, I do think he is the best wide receiver in the game right now. If it wasn't clear enough, these aren't in like a uh, order of any sorts, just naming the cards. Um, if that wasn't clear enough, uh, but Russ Grimm, Russ Grimm actually is pretty, really good. So the speed's obviously great. If you still are rocking with the combine stuff, you can go 86 speed on him, which is pretty nice. But blocking wise, he's great. He's great. Don't worry about the stats on this card, really. But it's the abilities again. Um, he's going for two mil for a reason. He gets all 32 team cams, okay? But he gets secure protector, the best offensive lineman ability pre-baked for free. And you could also go identifier and threat detector for one AP. Identifier threat detector for one AP with secure protector. All 32 team cams, no matter what team you have, he'll fit on it. On um, this card, is a must have. The problem is his price tag is two million, so it's gonna be tough for you to get him. But he is a card that should really be on everyone's team, realistically. I mean, he's insane. It's no, I, I don't have much to say about him because he's an offensive lineman, but he's very good. And number one, I know people are gonna probably roll their eyes at this one. Um, but it is Tom Brady. I mean, there are a lot of good QBs in this game that can win you games, but only to me one is the best. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of good QBs. There's a lot of them. You can win games with any of these guys, but to me, there's just an easy number one. And I really wouldn't even hear a debate for it, to be completely honest with you. Um, because you could put angry runs on this card, you could put whatever you want on him, pro reads, uh blitz radar shore. Uh, no matter what you want, you can put on Tom Brady, Omaha. I know people don't like that ability too much. Um, but the charge of Omaha, yeah, it's great. Um, toss a little persistent on there and, you know, you're, you have it for a little bit longer. But 
every single ability bucket being discounted being able to have even potential for a one ap or zero ap setup on tom brady there's no other qb in the game that can do this with traditional four the card moves surprisingly well and you can juke with this card if you can find ways to boost his speed that makes it even better but for me i just run like the plain tom brady i run angry runs on the card and he is so good and he's only a million which is kind of surprising this is this is, this is probably the best muck card we've ever seen again I, I mean i i don't think i'm even overrating this card definitely the best muck qb of all time with these ability discounts and the release and how he moves and how he plays in the, in the x factors but debatably the best muck card of all time i really i mean that this card is crazy so yeah, tom brady number one must have and that isn't that isn't gonna do it for today's video if you didn't make it to the end of the video, hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. We're almost there, less than a thousand away. So hit the subscribe button, turn those notifications. And uh, as always, have a great rest of your day. And I will see you boys in the next one.